Hello everyone, welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, I'm going to do a quick little video, nothing long. Uh, mainly trying out a new camera. Um, I finally uh, went ahead and got a GoPro Hero 8 Black. Uh, so I'm mainly just trying it out, seeing how it does. Um, just going to do a, a little short video on remelt. I got mostly dark colors but uh there's some mixed up light colors in here um just basically a cup full of mixed up stuff we'll make a uh we'll melt it down make a few stick baits uh might make a few reapers out of it but get it started uh we'll get four minutes uh see how see how everything does uh, it's been a been a few days I, hell I think it's been about a week but anyway uh, I'll see how the the camera shoots but I'm gonna get everything set up and started and I'll be right back all right we got the plastic heated up it don't look too bad like I say it's a a dark color trying to stir it a little bit we're gonna you can see it's just got mixed flake in it uh, because it's from multiple you know different colors let me angle this There we go. So I'm just going to add a little bit of pearl mixture in it. Just something to break it up. I mean, a lot of times if I do a remelt and it's a real dark color, I'll add a, I'll add some pearl to it just to give it a little extra, you know, color shift. I mean, it's, it's a good idea to add something, especially for personal use. I mean, sometimes I'll mix up some stuff like this and it actually make such a nice color i'll i'll try to recreate it sometimes i'll have a hard time trying to remake a color uh i'll post some pictures sometime of colors that uh i just remelted down you know like old sprues and stuff and then it ends up making such a nice color people will be messing me wanting to order that color and i'm like oh okay let me see and sometimes i have a hard because it's hard to recreate some of these accident colors but sometimes these accident colors make the best baits matter of fact that there looks pretty good let's see heat it up for a few seconds still trying to get used to the the camera i gotta buy a better tripod for the little one i have is tiny i mean it it's one that came in one of them bundle kits you know it's just tiny but anyway you try to get this thing might have to set it up here try to get it where you can see what's going on better just bear with me let me angle the camera down all right that ain't the best angle, but maybe that, uh, that'll work. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That don't look too bad, man. Alright, let's see how she looks. I'm gonna shoot this one first. This one don't take much plastic. these right here them right there take a lot just to be on the safe side oh shit it with fresh one I'd rather do that than run out 
these right here stick molds they take roughly close to six ounces each I mean they take a lot of plastic hoping I had enough on that one if not it'll be all right at least we got one of them all the way full that um 10 ounce injector and almost enough to fill up these two by itself um they take a lot of and they because the molds are so thick they draw in a lot of plastic i'm hoping this one filled up all the way at first i would say sometimes it's, it's hard to tell I didn't shoot the plastic real hot this time. Most of the time I try to shoot it a little warm or a little bit hotter than than usual. This time I had it close to 300. Most of the time I try to have it around 350 when I shoot it. Just, just pretty much have it. Alright. Get this right here. And then we'll they should be set enough to at least check them out. All right. Well, we'll get out a few minutes and then come right back. Okay, this is basically a continuum. Let's see if we can get a good camera angle. Well, that ain't, that angle ain't worth a poop. Okay, that ain't horrible. We'll shoot this and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit. These right here soak up a lot of plastic. These one is a 10 cavity, one is an 8 cavity. But they're real thick molds. They're a lot thicker than your standard mold, so they drink a ton of plastic. But it's nice because you can cover a lot of baits real quick with it but anyway um I actually have one of my cooling plates on here I got this one just rigged up to a little little tank feeding in it works good for these uh, tall molds because the I mean, you can see the cooling plate is five inches tall, so it works good for these tall molds. You don't have to add the clamp when you're using this, but because I have like four of these molds that are really tall because they're multi-cavity, I mean, they they sit a lot higher, so in, instead of taking the chance to have a little bit of flashing toward the top, I just go ahead and, and clamp them. Um, I do have cooling plates that I bought from uh, their TPCP uh, trailer part cooling plates um, they're I don't know they're they're a lot smaller than what I thought they were gonna be uh, when I ordered them uh, if I would have known they was gonna be so small I would not have actually paid what I paid for them uh, I paid $325 for five of them I mean 
but I thought they were the standard bigger size. These are like three by six. And I mean, that's all right for your small molds, but most of my molds, this is gonna be too small for. So I actually bought some, uh, some pieces of aluminum that I'm gonna try to drill out and make my own plates out of. Uh, I mean, it's fairly, I ain't gonna say simple, but basically all it is is drilled out to right there all the way down then drill from there to meet and then tap it i mean so it's really not that bad i should be able to do it with my my drill press um we're gonna get these out in a minute this video is basically a continuum for the one i did uh let me take this glove off for ah for one i did uh a few days ago or i was working on a few days ago this is the color we were shooting and it actually i'll pick up a couple of them it actually came out good but see if you can see I'm getting some better light i mean it's kind of like a it's hard to tell but it's dark but it's almost like an extremely dark uh pearl pumpkin with multi flaking i mean it turned out good um turned out real good in that video i had to end it uh end it real quick and i'll show you why in just a second uh, like i say this this uh this channel is not about just showing everything that's done right you also want to show what not to do uh, i've got a bad habit of not wearing a glove on my right hand and the results of it you'll get burned sometime i mean i've been burnt a couple of times before uh, when i was making this video i think it was three days ago uh making those other baits i was actually cleaning out the plugs on my injectors well i got a, a 10 ounce quality injector i didn't take into account of how thick it is i mean you can see the uh the thickness while well, i'll take it and move it you can see the thick difference so this one takes longer to cool off so while i was breaking it down the hot plastic actually poured in my hand let me see you can see if the video show it so it, it poured out in my hand and uh burnt my hand i mean it's it's gonna happen that's one thing about it you can't be afraid oh i'm if I start this, oh, I don't want to get burnt. You're going to get burnt. Uh, sometimes it might not be nothing bad. I mean, uh, it's going to happen. And you might be one of the lucky ones that never get burnt. I mean, hell, these people do it for years and don't never get burnt. But it eventually it will happen. I mean, especially, you know, you trying to make a video or anything like that in your mind is not exactly where it needs to be. Then, yeah, it's going to happen. But no big deal it ain't gonna stop me i'm actually uh doing this as an order this is a perch color it's made by kitech actually but it's been very popular so um anyway let's see if we can get set up and see how they turned out you gotta bear with me my my hand has got me slowed way down if you uh could imagine Oh yeah, we'll see how, this is the first time I used a cooling plate on these, on these bigger, uh, on these bigger molds. See how it, how it turned out. They feel cool, so maybe, maybe it done good. There we go. Man, that's just a, a beautiful color. Let's see if I can show it to you. Well, I know you've seen this color before. I've actually made it a few times. I believe I made it a few times on video, but it is a uh, a great color. It uh it comes out beautiful. All right, there's one down, and with these multi cavity, well you can see right here, these uh multi cavity molds like this. It don't take but just a, a few times to get a uh to get an order done i mean if i need to do 50 of them it really don't take 
but a few minutes it'll take a little bit longer because i'm trying to do you know trying to make it look good on the video and that's a little because you steady looking at the camera making sure you're in the right angle and i still ain't fully got used to the gopro because i'm steady looking at it making sure it's it's still showing good but yeah but yeah these baits oh see like right there i wasn't even on the camera right but yeah they they turn out great i gotta give props to uh to they call it they changed her i say they changed her name they're called they call herself uh i think they call herself dart horse custom molds or something now but uh anyway they're made by a gentleman named glover uh don't quote me on i'll have to look but uh anyway it's dart horse custom uh molds is what they're is what they're going by now but uh anyway i'm gonna shoot a few more and get this run pretty much done uh because you saw that we don't need to just keep on going and then i'm gonna do one more color um electric shad um so when i start that process electric shad then we'll come back and continue um just a quick view so you can see how this right here works i mean it is just nice you lay your molds in there flip the switch and i mean you cannot pull them out it puts so much pressure on them um all right we'll be right back all right we're back we're fixing to mix up the color for electric shad um i got this one up to temperature the other one is finishing up let's see if we can get this angle all right there we go uh right, let's see what side we want to do i got my little recipe written down all right we'll do the, the top side all right this one calls for uh eighth of bronze mica powder go a little bit there we go that's that's close all right got that in uh, let's see 12 drops of black Ooh, that's to say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and give that a stir and see what it looks like. Hopefully that wasn't too much black. Because it damn sure dumped out. Most of the time you can't hardly get it to come out. Oh yeah, I think that'd be good. Cause it looks dark there but in all reality when you when you actually uh, try to get you you see you can see the the uh, knife really well so I think that's gonna be perfect all right let's see here uh, black flake all right this one this one we're gonna do half of an eighth of each one because I don't have no, I don't have like sixteenth and all that. So you just have to break it down the best you can. Uh, let's see. All right, black in there. Uh, half of an eighth of the blue. Man, these blue colors look nice. Especially the very small, like the 008. Man, it, it makes it pop. Alright, uh, that's a number 40. Okay, and then a full eighth of espresso. I like this color. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Let's see if you can see that yeah it's almost like you took uh, like you might have took a, some pennies and just 
ground it up into a flake I, I mean that's how it almost looks I mean it's beautiful all right let's see oh yeah this is by far one of my favorite colors I mean just because of how well it laminates together and I mean it is a really nice color all right that one's ready Let's see. Get this other one out. Uh -oh. Let's see what temperature we're at. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get the one quarter of mica pearl white. All right. I think I got. There we go. I got a quarter already up here. A lot of the stuff you do is going to have uh, mica powder in it. I mean, this uh, pearl powder and stuff like that, it's, believe it or not, you use it a ton. I mean, let's see, a few swirls. Just say that much. All right. Oh yeah, I almost forgot something. The other one we'll have to add to it. I almost forgot the salt until I just looked at it. But that ain't no big deal. We can add that once we get these colors dialed in. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll do a big eighth of a. We'll do a heaping eight because that sparkle really adds to it. Oh yeah. Man, that looks good. That sparkle just makes it, makes it pop, believe it or not. All right, so we don't forget, let's go ahead and add our salt. Uh, depends on what brand I use. As far as uh, plastic, like with dead on, you really ain't got to use salt. Because uh, dead on plastics, I mean, it floats like a, I mean, uh, sinks like a rock. Now, they have a, uh, they do have a floating blend that floats really well, but, you know, a lot of people like extra added salt. Uh, this customer, for example, he likes added, a uh, little extra added salt. Even though the plastic already sinks, you know, some people like the little extra added salt. I mean, a lot of people say it makes the fish hold on to it better. You know, they taste the saltiness of it. Uh, personally, uh, baits that I personally use, I don't use uh, salt. Uh, I mean, I find that with salt, your lure don't last near as long uh you know for a good example i fish a lot different style than most people i know and i can the the way i fish my baits i can i can catch more fish without salt and what i mean by that is i fish in a lot of tough conditions um i don't use stick baits in your usual sense i mean i don't wacky rig it i don't do all that i mean i just use it in a a way that's i mean i'm not going to broadcast there's a few people know how i use them so i'm not i'm not going to share my secret but anyway they catch a ton of fish just for me personally i don't use salt i have don't get me wrong i have but if it's a preference i prefer no salt just because the bait seems to last longer don't tear as easy all right stick that over there got a few little air bubbles i might yeah i think i can get them out with the uh because more you start the more air bubbles you you're gonna get but i think i can get those most of those out with the heat gun i'll see in just a second all right, let's 
Let's see what the yeah, let me pop it back in for just a minute. Go ahead and do both of them. Let's say a minute and a half, just to be just to be safe, and that give me time to put this stuff up, make room. Not always want your area cluttered up. I mean, the, the more clutter you got easier it is to make mistakes so uh, just move some of the stuff out of the way real quick and then we'll get uh we'll get this video underway I already got it ready let me see if I can get it at a good angle for you so you can see better than the last time That ain't too bad. Alright. We'll give this a few seconds. Put my, like I say, remember, put your glove on. You don't want to end up messed up like me. It ain't too bad. It happens. Alright. That's probably enough time. We're going to call it good. Take them out. Give them one more little, one more little stir, and I'm gonna hit them with the heat gun to knock that top layer of bubbles off. Because if you don't have a vacuum chamber, a lot of people don't. You can hit it real quick with the heat gun and knock a good bit of the bubbles out. I mean. Not everybody, you know, can afford a, a vacuum chamber. I mean, honestly, I couldn't. And, well, I could, but I didn't want to waste the money when I could build one, so. All right. Hopefully that camera angle is, is fine. Like I say, these drink a ton of plastic, so. All right. And keep them topped off. Cause what happens if you don't keep them topped off and you let it get too low, you will end up with, uh, with an air pocket in your top, you know, one or two baits. I have an air pocket in it, and you don't want that. I mean, I personally wouldn't use them that way um, and I wouldn't push it off on my customer so um, and these are for a customer things I would do for myself you know if I had an air bubble it wasn't too bad I might would use it just to just to give it a, a different action but when a customer pays good hard-earned money for for you to do a uh, an order for him I mean you gotta go you gotta go out of your way to make it right i mean regardless if i've had i've had custom orders that the customer make and for example check them uh, i've had custom orders where the customer made a an order for a, a extremely hard color to do um certain colors don't don't laminate real good uh some of them laminate perfect like these right here usually laminate great uh and it all depends on the style of baits um i got a swim bait it laminates okay uh darker colors pretty good because you, you can't tell as much but the way the the mold is designed it laminates horrible uh, especially with bright colors because you can the brighter the color or more translucent stuff like that you can see the um, you can see the the inconsistencies in it um, I had an order a uh, small order for like 25 baits and I mean it was such a pain because I ended up shooting about 60 baits 
to get them to what I, you know, what I was comfortable selling him. Uh, just because, you know, I'm I'm funny about that. My wife says I'm I'm my worst uh, critic. You know, I critique myself really hard um, because I'm a perfectionist. You know, when it comes to certain things. Um, anyway, these right here should be about ready. We'll break it down, show you what they look like, and end this video so it don't take all day. I'm I'm bad about rambling. All right, let's angle that. And see, that's where the cooling plate comes in. The molds are cold, you know, are not like freezing cold, but they're nice and, and chill. They're not like, you know, uh, usually by now the molds will be so warm that it's, it's uncomfortable even touching them, you know. That's, that's the uh, beauty about a cooling plate is it, it makes it where you can shoot a lot more oh man now look at you trying to get the best camera angle I mean look at that let me hold it up a little better that is man that's such a beautiful color but oh yeah and uh, I was trying to remember the uh, the name of the the guy that makes these molds and i couldn't remember earlier so i actually looked it up while we was down and uh it's james glover um check him out on facebook he's got some uh some pretty cool molds um the only one i've tried of his so far is the stick bait mold i do plan on getting a a couple of other ones um he's fairly new as far as selling on facebook so but uh anyway he's he's got something good going i mean these are perfect shooting molds they shoot perfect every single time uh, i think out of the i've probably shot close to 1500 maybe 2000 baits out of these so far and honestly it's probably more than that i really hadn't been keeping count but um out of all the baits i've shot out of these i've had two that didn't come out perfect and those two were honestly uh, my fault uh, from not having the sprues uh, filled up and actually those two were today you know um, and that's from not having the sprues filled up but man I'm trying to show how that color is so nice but anyway i'm gonna end this video um i know it's already been way too long dragging it out um i'm gonna try to figure up figure out how to upload it you know i'm new to this whole gopro uh thing this um gopro hero 8 black or yeah that's what it is so i'm i'm kind of new to it uh, i'm gonna try to figure out how to upload it today and hopefully it won't be too long maybe i can edit it and uh cut some stuff out um as always thank you for tuning in to tall tales custom tackles and we'll catch you next time